Oh, look at that. I know I didn't leave that open. There probably was open a crack. She's so strong, she probably pushed it open the rest of the way. All right, we gotta get her back in the cage. We have an escaped olive python. I probably left the cage open. <laughs> she wreaked havoc from all my whole steak room. Everything is knocked on the floors. Garbage pails are knocked over. This is what happens when you forget and leave the cage open. I, I pulled that bit out because I, I saw her sticking out here. The good thing about a big snake when it escapes is it really can't go anywhere because I have an escape proof building here. But if you look at the um, snake room over here, uh-oh, this, <laughs> this is open. And believe me, I didn't leave this open. Luckily, this snake was in shed and it didn't, it didn't leave the cage. She, when, when these big snakes get behind these tubs, especially the vision, vision tubs, they knock them out. She was all over this place. You could see she knocked over my blue tongue skink uh, power strip, which is not good, could have melted. And put this back here. Um, she uh, she's a big snake. When she gets out, they wreak havoc. So let's see where she got out from. Oh, look at that! I know I didn't leave that open. There probably was open a crack. She's so strong, she probably pushed it open the rest of the way. All right, we got to get her back in the cage. What's up, snake fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily, and it is, of course, it's night here. Well, when else would it be? And I have a beautiful. Pastel Mojave banana clown that's had hypo. It was actually sold to me as a super pastel hypo visual, but I proved that that's not right. But anyway, he is gorgeous no matter what. And he sired a tremendous clutch that I'm gonna show you that just hatched out. Man, am I so, I bred him to a pinstripe head clown or pastel pinstripe head clown and we got some amazing, amazing babies. I gotta tell you, I, it, it, beyond my expectations, beyond my expectations, I actually bought a, um, uh, a snake from Brad Boa, and he threw that female in for free. Of course, the one I bought didn't breed this year. <laughs> That's always the case. But the freebie did, and the freebie produced some really cool, cool babies. So we're gonna show you some really nice clowns. I haven't really had a lot of clown stuff this year at all. Um, it's been a really, you know, clown drought for me, to tell you the truth. A lot of them didn't go this year. I had slugs. And it looks like the end of the season, I might play catch up a little bit and, and produce some really nice clown stuff. So this stuff is, this boy made some really nice little babies for me. So we're going to go into the snake room and we're going to check them out. Uh, no matter how late it is, we're going to get this done. This to me looks like a, uh, a pinstripe pastel which 100% head clown so anything's not a clown is going to be 100% head clown obviously because of the parents really nice looking right that's a nice looking pinstripe so you see the the pastel gene lightning now this could be a super pastel pinstripe too that's a possibility you know we have to take that into account obviously because both parents were pastels there is a good possibility that that, that, that 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 happened. Now, if we take contrast that snake with this snake, this is a banana pinstripe, which is probably pastel and it's head clown. So both of these not visual clowns, but this one has the banana gene added into it. And if, if I sex these, more than likely the bananas are gonna be males because I have a male maker for the sire. He doesn't want to cooperate. But so I don't think there's Mojave in here though. I don't, there might be though, because it doesn't, this looks like a, this pinstripe does not look like a conventional pinstripe. Obviously there's banana in here, but I don't know what a banana, I don't even know if I can identify a Mojave pinstripe banana. So. This one looks really, really nice. I wonder if this is Mojave. Because Mojave does add that like dorsal striping a little bit, especially in the GHI Mojave. 
That could be, this could be a Mojave pastel pinstripe that's head for clown. I'm not sure, but the pinstripe has that, 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 that same look, so we'll have to see when they shed out. I don't profess to be uh, a genius when it comes to identifying things initially when there's a lot of multiple genes at, at play. I have to I have to digest it and regurgitate it a little bit and, and, and then look it over. Now here's a, uh, this is a really nice looking pastel here. Look at that erased head. How crazy is that? And look how dark the darkness is here. This is a, um, I don't, I wonder if this is a super pastel. It doesn't look that light though. The head looks really light. That could be a super pastel head clown right there. Really nice, very, very dark contrast there. Really, really cool. But yeah, that erased head would, would tell me super pastel. So that could be a, that, that we can call this a super pastel head clown. So here's our, here's three non clowns, non visuals. Now let's go to Take a look at some of the other cool stuff we have here. All right, now this is a visual clown, obviously. I would call this probably a pinstripe clown. And that pinstripe and clown mixes really, really well. I'm so happy I got this, I, I did this pairing. Look at that, look at the, look at the like barbed wire almost look along the dorsal end. It really changes that pinstripe up when you put the clown with it. This is really a really nice combination. Now, if we take that and we go to this, look at this guy. This looks pretty similar, right? I would probably say this is the banana version of this, maybe. So this might be pinstripe, banana pinstripe clown. Now, there might be some pastel in there too because it's a little orangey i'm wondering if, if this might not even be banana i wonder if this is super pastel pinstripe clown it's a possibility because i don't see too many purples i don't think that's banana i think this is this is kind of this with pastel in it so i'm going to call this possible super pastel Pinstripe clown. So these are both visuals. Now we come to this snake, which is, I, I always love these. This is a killer clown, I believe, which is super pastel clown. I don't think there's anything else in it. I don't think there's Mojave in this. So this is super pastel clown. Really nice in its own right. Look at that. Such nice contrast, wow. Pastel and Cloud mix really well together. Really, really nice. Look at these, look at this, look at this. I mean, this is like a dream clutch here. I didn't do well with Cloud this year. Now all of a sudden at the end of the season, I'm, I'm hitting all my Cloud stuff. Now, here's a, a real wacky, wacky looking one. Look at this one. This is what I believe to be Obviously, definitely banana. Banana pinstripe clown. I don't know if there's pastel in here. Let me see. The head doesn't look like it's too erased. Look how beautiful that. Oh my God, look at that orange. Is that gorgeous? The black eye? Wow. Those are some really nice colors in there. So that's pinstripe. Banana clown. Look at that little white. I don't know if that's paradoxing, or it's a ringer. There's no, there's no pied in here. I don't know. Really nice though. Look at that. And you can look at contrast it with this one. You know. I don't think that has banana in it. I don't know. Someone's gonna yell at me and say, "Of course it does." Let's take a look at this last one. This is this is the one I, I have no idea. <laughs> look at this. Would you look at this? 
I have to believe that this is, if, if, if they'll open up uh, and show us what it looks like. I think that's banana. Pinstripe. I think it's super, first of all, I think it's super pastel. I think it's super pastel, banana, clown. Uh, maybe super pastel, banana, Mojave clown. This thing is definitely going to change when it, when it sheds. I know it will. Right now it almost looks leucistic. But it's not. It's definitely banana. Look at it, it's almost patternless. It's really weird. But the Super Pastel will erase pattern and so will Mojave. So that's why I'm thinking Mojave, Super Pastel, Banana Clown. Uh, banana clown. He doesn't want to, just, he doesn't want to cooperate. So, I mean, look at this one clutch with so many different varieties. Here's our non-clowns, which both, all three of these look amazing. And I'm sure they'll sell very quickly. And then I got these crazy clouds that I don't even, I'm not gonna wanna let go of any of them probably. What a crazy clutch. This is so beautiful. Oh, I love Pinstripe Clown, that's my new favorite combination. It's funny, Pinstripe was, it was a gene that I really wasn't that crazy about when it first, when I first kind of saw it. And man, has it grown on me between the Super Orange Dream Pinstripe Cryptics I produced now these uh, pinstripe clowns combinations, really, really impressive. All right, guys, that's it for today. And uh, it's the weekend, but you know what? I missed the video this week, so I figured I'd sneak one in. The clutch hadn't hatched uh, on Friday, so I kind of waited till Saturday night. They are all hatched out now. I hope you guys liked it. Really cool stuff, and I'm not really sure of the exact identifications yet. I think as they shed and they grow a little bit, I'll start to realize exactly what they are. It's like, you know, you go into school as a kid for your first day, you don't know any kids in the class. After two weeks, you know who everyone is. And so it's familiarity. The more you spend with them, the more time you look at them, you see them developing, you start to, 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 to notice certain traits you didn't notice before. And, you know, sometimes a year after, uh, you know, I produce the clutch, I'll finally say, oh yeah, look, I can see that trait in there. Or, you know what, I think it has this trait that I didn't even notice, or maybe it doesn't have the trait that I thought was in there. So a lot of times I catch yellow belly and stuff that I never caught right off the bat. And then I'm like, of course there's yellow belly, because as they get bigger, you see more of that blushing. So you, you can't make sometimes definitive situations and, and decisions right off the bat. And that's why sometimes it's a mistake to sell your stuff early. I know a lot of guys want to put it up, make the money, you know, uh, but sometimes you can sell off good stuff. So if you're not sure, keep it. That's my words of wisdom for the day. All right, you guys know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, hit the like button. We'll see you back Monday morning.